Hey guys, so this is going to be my monthly makeup basket. So I'm just going to go ahead and start because I have a lot of products to talk about. First of all, I have been really good about keeping this lip balm in my lip in my bag. It's the CRB's Organic Mint Burst Lip Balm. It's nice. It's the first thing I put on my lips so that they're kind of you know soft and ready for the day. All right. Then I do my eyes, and for eyeshadow primer, the Wet n Wild one, I absolutely love it. Not going to go on about it. To set that, I'm using my Ulta Single Shadow in the shade Bone, which is in my Pan That palette, so I will show you an update in that video. Um, and then for my like crease shade, I've or I guess more like transition, I've been using my Single Shadow that I absolutely love. This is Makeup Geek's Beaches and Cream, so it's just a nice kind of like brown like a peachy brown I don't know it's just perfect for like the transition area for me so I use it every day and then I'm using my Tarte Be Magnificent palette this is my pan that palette it's all matte this is what I use to help with like my crease shades and stuff so that's what I've been using and then for my lids which is the fun part um well first of all I use the Essence 2-in-1 eyeshadow and liner waterproof crayon in the shade light me up which is I think 03 um, anyway I use this as a sticky base and then for my shimmery shades I've been using two palettes this month so the first one is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette I love this if you're looking for a high-end makeup item like eyeshadow palette this is should be your go-to I love it so this is what it looks like here I will have a separate video about my one month one palette because this is what I chose um, along with the duo but yeah I've been using this gold a lot this um, push-up shade, um, this like shimmery. I just love them all. They're all awesome. I love this palette. And then the other one I've been using, this is a limited edition one from NARS. It's called Parallel Universe. And I love this purple shade. I do actually have it on my lids today. I'm not sure if you can tell. Like it's just a shimmery purple, so it's not over the top. You can wear it with a pop of color without being like too crazy for every day. Um, and I also like the other, um, the like champagne -y shade in there too. Okay, for eyeliner, I'm using the Makeup Geek Nude Liner for my waterline, and then for my lash line, I'm using the Pixi Lid and Line um, Smoky Brown Shade, so I just use that, and I set it with purple eyeshadow from my um, Pan That Palette, you can't even tell, and then for mascara, I am using the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect, this is my favorite mascara, so this is what I'm using. Alright, so that's all for eyes. Moving on to face products, um, I have two primers that I've been using. So I'm using the Body Shop Tea Tree Pore Minimizer. Love this product. And I'm also using the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot. Um, this is new to me. It's I, I'm okay with it. It's not the best primer I've ever tried, but it's also not the worst. I have oily skin. It's doing a pretty good job, I would say. So I'm just going to keep using it. Sometimes I just use this one. Sometimes I use this one. Sometimes I use both. It just kind of depends. And then after that, I do put on my under eye corrector. I use the Pixi one. It, I have the shade Brightening Peach, although there is a darker shade. Um, so I just use this on the inner corner here where I get the darkest. Um, and then I go ahead and apply my foundation. So majority of the month, I have been using the Kat Von D Locket foundation. This is, I have the shade Light 44 Cool. Um, and I've just been using one pump of this and I just lightly dot it and then I use my Real Technique sponge to blend it out. It looks very nice. Um, one pump is like almost too much for me. I feel like, you know, you can go overboard with it, but it works really well. Sometimes I do add in the Shimmering Skin Perfector from Becca in the shade Moonstone to brighten it up, but not always. So yeah, I've been using that. And then recently on days where I'm not going to be wearing makeup like all day, maybe I'm just like going out to eat or maybe I'm going whatever, doing whatever. Um, I use my Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I really like this foundation. It just doesn't wear as long as this one does. So when I have long class days, I wear this. But now that I'm done with class, um, I'll just be wearing this a lot more. <laughs> so yeah, I have the shade um, 361C Shell Ivory. I really do enjoy it. It is actually what I have on my face right now. Um, it's been on my face for about two hours, so there's not a ton of wear on it yet, but that's fine. For concealer, underneath my eyes, I'm using the NYX HD. I love this concealer. And then for any blemishes, I'm using the Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. This is too dark for me to use under my eyes. It just doesn't brighten enough. For my brows, I'm using the NYX Tame and Frame. I have it in the shade Blonde. I've actually learned 
how to use it so I like it it's what I have through my brows today I feel like it looks all right um, I still do prefer the Anastasia one I think though so that's all right and then I did today put through the brow gel I'm not using it that often anymore but this is the Anastasia tinted brow gel in the shade blonde um, and it just kind of adds dimension to my brows I find to set my face underneath my eyes I'm using the elf HD under eye setting powder it's all right nothing special but it, you know it works and then for the rest of my face, I'm using the Tarte um, Smooth Operator. This is the pressed version. I just purchased a backup in the Ulta 20% off sale, so that's exciting. Um, okay, so now moving on to my face. For my bronzer, I've been using the Jane Bronzer in the shade Inspire. It's a matte bronzer. Um, I really like it. You can start to see the rings over here. So I think I'm going to keep working on this until I get to tan to use it, and hopefully I'll hit pan before then. Um, I do want to hit pan on a bronzer this year, and this is the one I picked. But I really like it. It is what I have on today. For my contour, of course, using the Kevin Aquan Sculpting Powder. Um, this is the medium shade, but it works well for me. I just use a light hand, um, carve out the cheekbones and a little bit um, underneath my lip and a little bit down the sides of my nose, and that's that. For blush, I've been using the Too Faced Love Flush Palette um, that I hunted down because I missed out on this one. And I've been using the shade I Will Always Love You all month. Um, it's just a nice, corally, peachy, um, shade it has a tiny bit of shimmer in it but not over the top again what I have on my cheeks today love it for highlighter I've been using the Laura Geller um, French vanilla I love this highlighter so I basically put this on top of my cheekbone down my nose on my cupid's bow and like a top of my brow here really love this one um, but sometimes I do want to pack a little bit of a punch and so I'll add the um, this month I use the Becca um, shimmering skin perfector in moonstone the pressed version and I've been adding this to the tops of my cheekbones. I do have cheekbones. I do have it on today. Um, as you can see, that it's a nice punch, but it's not over the top when I'm only using this, though. So, wow, words are hard today. So, yeah, that's what I've been using. Um, okay, and then for my lips, I pretty much have just been using this gloss all month. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. I love this. I also have the Buxom Lipstick in Amsterdam on the go right now. I just don't have it right here to show you. So, yeah, that's everything I've been using. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you've been using this month or what's in your current rotation. Oh my goodness, has my hair been that crazy this whole time? Sorry about that. Anyway, that's all I have, um, and I will see you guys in my next video.